Welcome back to the Crypto Watch channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum is still struggling around this major area of resistance in the short term, while XRP is officially breaking out to the upside, beginning its next major bull run, as I am currently taking this trading opportunity in the short term. So in just a moment, I'll be sharing my exact trading strategy, which could make you potentially a lot of money, while Solana is currently hitting its all-time high, while Cardano is presenting a rare opportunity potentially repeating history on this Cardano chart. So I'll be talking about all of that and more later in the video. So definitely watch to the end. First of all, just before we take a look at the Ethereum charts today, we need to talk about some altcoin news today. And this actually came out just yesterday, but it didn't make it in my last altcoin video yesterday because it came out right as I posted that video, but I did tweet about it as you can see right here. And essentially the news is that Gary Gensler has officially announced that he will be stepping down from the SEC. And as you can see right here, I simply said bullish because in case you don't already know, in case you're new to crypto, Gary Gensler has been very bearish for specifically altcoins like XRP, for example, with the SEC lawsuit against XRP. And of course, a lot of other altcoins that the SEC has labeled as securities over the last few years with Gary Gensler at the head of the SEC has been quite bearish for specifically altcoins, but really the overall crypto market. And so with this now happening, with Gary Gensler officially leaving the SEC just in January next year, of course, this is bullish for crypto, specifically coins like Cardano and XRP that were previously labeled as securities. But with that being said, taking a look at the Ethereum charts today on the weekly time frame, right now the price of ETH is still within a larger bullish market, quite clearly playing out higher lows and higher highs, playing out larger bullish price structure, and this ascending line of support is still sitting at just above 2.4k. So ultimately on the larger time frames, things are still looking really bullish, and while Bitcoin is playing out a bull run, it's very likely that Ethereum and a lot of the crypto market will also play out a bull run on the larger time frames. But with that being said, taking a look at the three-day time frame. Right now, the price of ETH is still attempting this breakout above that 3.2k level, which was a previous Fibonacci level right here and has been acting as some major resistance, but we still need to technically confirm this breakout with a three-day candle close above 3.2k. And in case you're wondering, the next three-day candle close confirms in around seven hours from now at the time of recording this video. And if we can confirm this breakout with a three-day candle close above 3.2k, in that case, looking at the next price, Price target, we're looking at around three and a half thousand as the next major point of resistance, and above that level, then we can start targeting around 3.9k to 4k as another major point of resistance. And if we're taking a look at this daily time frame right now, the price of ETH is pretty much perfectly once again rejecting from this area of resistance that I've already been warning about over and over again here on the channel since before this first rejection. And this area of resistance is sitting in between around 3430 to 35. 60 and pretty much exactly at 3430, we have just rejected again from this resistance. And so as I've been saying recently here on the channel, expect a lot of struggle in this price range. Basically a lot of people selling or taking profits around this area on the price chart. But for now, we're basically within a bit of a sideways price range, just chopping around sideways between support and resistance. And in case you're wondering, this area of support is sitting in between $3,000 to 3050. And so just in the short term, the price is actually looking relatively neutral in a sideways price range, but zooming out, looking at the bigger picture, we're still within a larger bull run. And with that being said, taking a look at the price of XRP on the weekly time frame, and we can clearly see that the price of XRP is continuing this pump pretty much straight to the upside. And I've said recently here on the channel, a lot of altcoins obviously don't necessarily move in straight lines, but XRP is one of the few altcoins that does move in straight lines, especially when it's bullish. It pretty much goes straight to the upside here. And especially with that news of Gary Gensler officially stepping down from the SEC, of course, that continued to to pump the price of XRP and Cardano, for example, and of course, other altcoins kind of like that. But ultimately, we are now breaking out above this 78.6% Fibonacci level, which was strong resistance right here, and that's sitting at around $1.30 approximately. So now that we're breaking out above $1.30, this is very, very bullish. And ultimately, if we can remain above $1.30 right now, in case we see any sort of short-term pullback, for as long as we're finding support at around $1.30, things are looking really, really good here. And the next major price target is sitting at close to $1.60 to $1.70. And above that, then I'll be targeting close to $2. 
And if we're zooming into the shorter term, taking a look at the two hour XRP chart over the last one day, we have seen a major breakout from this symmetrical triangle pattern, also known as a horizontal triangle pattern. And obviously I've been talking about this over the last two days here on the channel, all the way back here. And then of course, in my last video, right around the breakout. And so like I've already been saying for a couple of days now on the channel, if we break out above that line of resistance, if we can simply confirm a candle close right here above that line of resistance, which was sitting at around $1.12 to $1.13 approximately, once we confirmed that first little candle close above this line of resistance, that was the signal to potentially enter a long position and trade the move towards the bullish price target. And this first bullish price target was sitting at around $1.34 to $1.35 approximately. And as we can see here, we already hit that first major price target with that explosive breakout to the upside. But if we're taking a look at a flagpole price target based on this pattern being basically a bullish pennant, which is a bullish continuation pattern, that places a total price target at around $1.72. So just above $1.70, which from the point of the breakout to that complete price target was over a 50% potential move, a 50% pump here. But from the current price, as of recording this video, to that price target, that's still around a 17% pump away. And when it comes to my trading strategy for the price of XRP, I basically followed the exact same trading strategy that I've been talking about over the last couple of days. Specifically in my last video, I went into more detail about a short-term trading strategy when it comes to this breakout pattern right here. And so I simply just followed that exact strategy that I laid out for free in my last video. Once we saw a breakout above this line of resistance, I entered a long position over on Bybit, not a massive position, just relatively small position. But of course, with something like XRP, it doesn't have to be a massive amount of money to actually make some decent profits here because of how volatile these moves are. And so as soon as I saw this breakout above that line of resistance, that was the signal to enter a long position, which is exactly what I did here. Entry price at around $1.17. So right around here approximately was when I entered. And then I did actually take some profits out of that trade right here. As you can see, around 4,000 USD realized profits. And I took those profits at close to this first price target as a part of that trading strategy, which I shared in my last altcoin video just yesterday. But I only took partial profits. I only closed part of the trade and I still have a decent amount of the trade still open, as you can see, around $5,000 in unrealized profits, which I'll take that trade towards this full price target if we can actually get there. And so at this point, if you took this trading opportunity, which I shared in my last couple of videos here on the channel, this right now is basically a win-win trading opportunity because even if we dump, I've already taken some profits and my stop loss is sitting above my entry. So in the worst case scenario, if we just crash all of a sudden, that would hit the stop loss in profits and close the trade automatically in profits. But on the other hand, if we continue pumping, then of course I still have some of this trade still open, which means I'll continue to profit from this bullish move. And so just by this simple trading strategy, this simple breakout pattern, which I shared over the last couple of days, I made a quick 9,000 USD in a single day trade. So this is basically an easy way to make a lot of quick and easy money in crypto. And keep in mind, the next major altcoin season has barely even begun. This is nothing. You have seen nothing yet. Things are only going to get much crazier, especially as we enter into 2025. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on so that you don't miss out on the next trading opportunity where you could potentially make a lot of quick and easy money. And this XRP long position, I actually took this trade right here over on Bybit. So I'll make sure to leave a link to Bybit down below this video in the description and in the pinned comment. And if you use that link below this video to make your Bybit account and deposit on that account, then you can get up to a $30,000 deposit bonus, but only if you use that link down below this video. And also if you use that link, it'll take you to this page right here, which is a 500 USDT position airdrop. So basically a free $500 trade as your first trade over on Bybit, but that's only available Available if you use the link below this video to make your Bybit account and actually deposit on that account. But for whatever reason, if you cannot access Bybit or if you cannot KYC on Bybit, there's also Bitinex, which is another crypto exchange very similar to Bybit, but you don't need KYC for Bitinex, which means if you're in the US or the UK, for example, or another country where you might not be able to access Bybit, you can access Bitinex. So I'll also leave a link to Bitinex below this video. And if you use that link, you can get up to a 5.5K deposit bonus and 
and only if you use that link, you can get an exclusive 10% discount on all trading fees on the Bitnex exchange forever, but that's only available if you use the link below this video to make your Bitnex account. So as another option out there, other than Bybit, once again, there's Bitnex, links down below if you wanna claim those extra bonuses. But with that being said, taking a look at the XRP BTC chart, this is XRP versus Bitcoin on the weekly timeframe. Right now, history is repeating. We're playing out the exact same double bottom pattern as what we saw near the beginning of the last major bull market near the beginning of 2021. And we can see quite clearly on this chart right here that this is yet another good example of how XRP likes to move in straight lines. So I always say for a lot of other cryptos out there, don't expect the price to move in a straight line, see some pullbacks and things like that along the way. But XRP is different. XRP very much moves in straight lines, especially on the pumps. And right now we're potentially only around halfway between the bottom and the top on the XRP Bitcoin chart this is. So this is XRP versus Bitcoin, which means if Bitcoin pumps, XRP pumps even more. Because if this chart goes to the upside, XRP is outperforming Bitcoin. But if this chart's going to the downside, Bitcoin is outperforming XRP. And so in case you're wondering from where we are right now, to these highs right here, which is a likely point of resistance and a possible turnaround point from where we are right now to those highs, we're talking about almost a 100% gain, around an 80 to 90% gain. So almost doubling in value from where we are right now. And once again, this is against Bitcoin. And so there's still potentially a major opportunity here on the XRP Bitcoin chart moving forward. But with that being said, taking a look at Solana on the two-day time frame, and right now the price of Solana is trading right around the all-time high. And over the last one day, we actually briefly just broke out above the all-time high. So on this chart right here, we went up towards around 264 and the old all-time high was at around 260. But similar to how there's a lot of resistance around that 100K level for Bitcoin, because so many people are focusing on that 100K level for Bitcoin and taking profits around that level. It's the same story here for the all-time high for Solana. So many people are focusing around 260. And so there's a lot of people taking profits or potentially selling around that area. But once we can finally see a decisive breakout above 260, ideally with candle closes above that level, it's very likely will explode to the upside, likely quickly beyond $300 because if we're taking a look at this two-day Solana chart, we have this 1618 Fibonacci extension as the next significant price target and a potential point of resistance. And that extension level is sitting at around 312 to 313. So around 313 is the next major price target once we can finally see a strong breakout above 260. And if we're zooming into the shorter term, looking at this four hour Solana chart, right now we're also potentially playing out a bullish continuation pattern. And if we're measuring out a flagpole for this triangle continuation pattern, the flagpole price target would put this target at around 313, right at this Fibonacci extension. And so we have two completely different methods on two different timeframes pointing towards the same price target at around $313, which means we have confluence that's very likely that the price will soon head up towards around 313 once we can finally see a breakout well above 260 with confirmation. So candle closes above that level. And with that being said, taking a look at the price of Cardano, which over the last one day obviously had a major pump to the upside, especially with that Gary Gensler news, Gary Gensler stepping down from the SEC see this pumped Cardano because Cardano was one of the altcoins in the past that was labeled as a security by the SEC, which is bearish for Cardano. But now that Gary Gensler is stepping down, once again, this is bullish news. And right now, the price of Cardano is breaking out above this critical 50% retracement level, which was previously massive, massive resistance. And that 50% retracement level was sitting at approximately 83 cents. So now that we're breaking out above 83 cents, obviously, this is a very bullish signal to pay attention to. And the next major price target, at least on this chart right here, is the golden pocket, which is sitting in between $1.13 to $1.22 approximately. And so once again, that is the next major price target and a potential point of resistance for Cardano to the upside. And once we can finally see a confirmed breakout above around 122 to 123, then in that case, the next major price target would be sitting at around $1.76, which is this 78.6% Fibonacci level. And so it's very obvious that right now Cardano is clearly within a larger bull run here on these larger timeframes, just like a lot of the crypto market right now. And if we're taking a look at this 
one hour Cardano chart. We're also potentially playing out a bullish continuation pattern, very similar to the other charts I've talked about in these videos for those other coins. And if we're measuring out the flagpole price target for this pattern, that price target is sitting at around a dollar eight cents. And so from the point of the breakout to that price target, that was a potential move of around 43%, or even from where we are right now, as of a coin in this video to that price target, that's still around a 13% pump, which for example, with a 10X leverage long position would be more than a 100% profit, doubling your money. And if we're taking a look at the Cardano BTC chart, this is Cardano versus Bitcoin on the monthly time frame. So each one of these candles is one entire month. This is going all the way back towards around 2017. And in case you're new to all of this, when this chart's bullish, it means Cardano's outperforming Bitcoin. And if this chart's bearish, it means Bitcoin is outperforming Cardano. So right now, because we are bullish, it technically makes more sense to hold Cardano over Bitcoin because Cardano is outperforming Bitcoin right now. And as always, not personal financial advice. I'm just simply explaining what this chart actually means. And the last couple of times we've come from this exact area of support on this Cardano Bitcoin chart, the price of Cardano versus Bitcoin has exploded to the upside over the next few months, even up to around a year or so. And so essentially based on history, we are potentially entering into a major bull run, not only for Cardano versus the US dollar, but Cardano versus Bitcoin, which means we could see Cardano massively outperform Bitcoin potentially in the coming months, most likely well into 2025. And if history is any indication, obviously this is not a guarantee for the future. There's no such thing as a guarantee, but if history is any indication, there's a good chance we could possibly return back up towards this major area of resistance, which is exactly where Cardano turned around the last two times when Cardano was first against Bitcoin. And in case you're wondering, from the current price of Cardano versus Bitcoin to that area of resistance, we're talking about over a 400% move towards the upside, which is basically a 5 5x gain, a 5x gain, and that's Cardano versus Bitcoin, which means if Bitcoin pumps, Cardano pumps even more. And now, once again, I want to make it clear that just because this happens the last two times, it's not a guarantee that it's going to happen the exact same again. For example, it's possible we pump a little bit more and then turn around before this area of resistance. But either way, there is a strong probability that the price of Cardano versus Bitcoin will at least be bullish for some number of months here. And as always, if you want to trade these moves in the price of any crypto, check out those links down below this video to claim those extra bonuses. And if you want to actually know how to trade crypto, no matter if the price is bullish, bearish, or chopping around sideways, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how you can profit from bullish or bearish price action using long positions or short positions. And the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.